and um, passwords and campaign. I'm not sure what campaign you guys will be. Um, they're gonna be on. They're gonna be on the TransUnion campaign. Okay, so they're just gonna go ahead and select whatever campaign you guys ask them to, and we're gonna go ahead and submit. Um, you're always gonna go. Hold on, it's loading. One second. Okay. Ellie, you need to close your other windows now. There we go. Okay, so it's always gonna open to this screen. This is the other main screen. You're always gonna go ahead and click on call agent web phone. If you guys click on go back, it's not gonna work. You guys are gonna just hear dead air. So always make sure to click on call agent web phone. You are currently the only person in this conference. Once you guys log into the main screen, you guys have to hear the lady speak. You guys are the only person this um, campaign just so you guys don't get the dead air calls, okay? So once you guys get a call, or once you guys, um, you guys have to unpause yourself, so calls start coming in. As soon as you guys unpause yourself, the calls will come in. It always gonna have first name, last name, address, city, phone number, and um, credit score. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and wait for a call to come in, just so I can show you guys how to display the call. One second. Okay, sometimes it just takes, since everybody's out at lunch right now. Okay, so this is a call. That was a call. This is a dispo. You guys have to make sure you guys dispo before 30 seconds in case the customer wanted a call back. You guys were always selecting call back with the little star right here. And it's going to take you to this screen. Whatever the client asked, maybe a call back, he was working, he was working. You guys have to put whatever the client said. Always make sure you guys click on my call back only. Otherwise, if you guys do not make sure to select my callback only, it's going to call back to any agent, okay? So you guys might miss out on that. On that um, okay, let's lead. slow down for a minute. The reason that you guys have a time limitation is because you guys are on my calls. If you guys don't dispo, it's going to dispo it out itself as dispo max, and it's going to go back into the call queue. Dispo, this disposition, guys, disposition. Yeah, so if you don't yeah. put my callback or anything, it's going to go right back into the queue for someone else. Okay, and you do have a 30 second window to do that to disposition the call. If you do yes. not dispo, it'll dispo max and pause you. You will not receive calls, you'll be on pause. So make sure if you don't pay attention, you're going to just sit there on pause the whole time. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's really, it's I have really a question, Renee. Question. If that goes on, or if that goes on and it's beyond the 30 seconds and we're sitting there like just dead air, do we go back in here, do the mic call only, and then move forward, or do we have to get no, out? No, once it hits dispo max, you'll be on it'll pause you automatically and you have to unpause yourself. And do, do we unpause it by logging out, logging back in, or no? Because even when you log in, you have to unpause yourself at login. Oh, you're, just go you're back to unpause. Gotcha. I Once understand. you log in, you're still on pause. Okay, gotcha. If you do not hear the lady, though, the, the, the lady on the screen, and like I'm going to ask you guys to do a couple screen shares. This is what I do with all my new people, too. I need you guys to be, if you hear that lady, you'll have no problem talking and, and hearing the clients, both like listening and, you know, basically like using your web phone. If you do have a problem hearing that, you know, you are now the only agent in this conference. You're not going to hear anything and you're not going to be able to communicate with the client. Okay. You always have to hear her upon login. Ali, um, just slow down a little bit when you're explaining the, because this is like, okay. this is so easy, you guys. There's not a lot of steps for you. There's way more steps yeah. for the telemarketers because they have to transfer the call and do web form and like send it to you and whatnot. She's, she's showing you the basic basics, but I, I need you guys to pay close attention because there's certain things that if you do not do it, then you'll lose the lead, essentially. Go ahead, okay. Ali, slow down, okay? Okay, Okay. well, for example, just like I said, you guys do have to make sure you guys click on my callback only, otherwise okay. any okay. other- Okay, Ali, Ali, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, okay. Yeah, otherwise any other agent will go ahead and take it, or I'm sorry, any other LO will go ahead and take it. You just have to select on the date. Always make sure to select the date and the hour the client requested the callback, and then hit on submit, okay? And you have to pause always you, to be able to see your callbacks, you have to pause yourself. And so right now I'm paused. Can you guys see on pause? That is because I over, I was over on that page. So it was over the 30 seconds that you guys are permitted to be on. You see? 
So um, if I want to go back and see my callbacks, I have to go ahead and pause myself and click on active callbacks. Can you see my callbacks right here? Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Renee? Okay. Yeah, we can see it. Just so you saved. If you guys see that last one did not save because it overpassed the 30 seconds that we're allowed to save. So that is um true as a callback. So I have to go back to my view call log and it was this one, this full max. So, so I would to get that call back and schedule it as a callback. She has to go to view call logs. She mm -hmm. has to hit dial again. She has to dial it again, hang this up right away, and then dispo it, re re dispo it as a callback. So she'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so it's on the callback with the low star, just test. I'm going to go ahead and say test. Select the date or time, whatever time to set, and submit it. Now it's going to go back to active by itself. I'm going to go ahead and pause myself, and I can see it down here. Test. Now, I once your over callback comes to fruition and it's time, let's say you have a bunch of callbacks and they're in your, in your system, whether it's for Wednesday at 3 or Monday at 2, come Monday at 2, when you log into the dialer, that's the first thing you're going to pop up at two o'clock. So if you're on the dialer, let's say at one or 12, you're going to keep making calls. But once you finish the call and it hits two, that callback will pop up for you and tell you to call it as if it was as if you scheduled it, you know, it'll automatically pop up for you. Regardless of whatever time you scheduled it for. Yeah. You guys got that? Yeah, and then when that pops up for us, we'll like, how do we find the lead? It'll just show up. That that is one the lead. It'll tell you to die. Oh, okay, it won't gotcha. even let you move until gotcha. you call it back. Okay. It's like you literally can't leave that screen until you call it and redisposition it or reschedule it as another callback. Then so you'd have and to if we do that, the lead again. Oh yeah, awesome. And then, so if we would do that, we had like three callbacks, then we disposition this one, then the next callback would show up and then we'd have to go through that. And then the next one would show up and we have to go through yeah. that. If you have the scheduled callbacks, like all like- Yeah, back to back. Know, yeah. Back gotcha. to back, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, but when that, whatever you, whatever time you, you set for, that's when it's gonna pop up on, onto your screen if you're logged in. Now, if, if the time is already passed and you weren't logged in, let's say you had it um, like scheduled for Thursday, last Thursday, at two and you you didn't come in on thursday the when you come back in or when whenever you log back into the dialer it's going to pull up right away the callbacks that you missed and it won't let you move on or start like calling on on the data again until you make your callbacks first or redisposition them you understand yeah. you guys following perfect yes yeah you cannot move on it's not going to let you i put these like i I programmed it this way on purpose, you know? So, okay, go ahead, Allie. Okay. Okay, so every time you guys receive a call, this is the information you guys will get from the client, which I did mention is first name, last name, address, city, state, and phone number. This is um, what their credit score is, but we still have to verify whatever they say it is. Okay, for example, this is a callback. I just opened it. I'm gonna go ahead and dial lead. It's gonna start calling it right away, right? So it's ringing, I'm gonna hang up because so I would say call back later just for the system to call it back. Um, you guys have all this dispo options. And like I did mention, the most important one is the call back with the little star. If you guys do the call back later, that's just going to send it back to a dollar and the dollar will call it back during the day or in a few days. Okay. So we do have to make sure if you guys want to save it as your call back only, do the steps I just showed you. So it's a call back. Just can go back because um, just so we're clear on this one. Uh, make sure to always check mark where it says my call back only. Select time date and comment whatever the client said and submit it once i submit it i'm going to go ahead and pause myself and i am able to see it down here all my callbacks it's down here now if you guys like spoke to a specific client right that you want to talk to again i highly suggest that you mark it as my callback only or else it's going to go to any other agent um however you disposition it if you just disposition the call is not interested right? It'll still be in my system. We can see all your dispositions. I can see everything you guys do, every movement you guys make on this system. I can see it, right? You disposition the call. You guys are not interested. It'll purge out of my system 
for a year, right? Where unless I re-upload it into the system. Not purging out as in purging out completely, as in you guys won't be able to call it, but I'll still see it. And also be able to, you know, see every like movement that's been done on it. Do you understand? You guys following? Yes, no? Yeah, so uh, far. Valerie, to answer your question, you're just calling tri the trigger leads that we get daily. I upload them daily for the telemarketers, right? The, the same trigger leads. Now, we have a few LOs already calling out on the trigger leads and they're doing really well because yeah. they have a better pitch. Our telemarketers legally cannot quote people. They, cannot, mm -hmm. they can't do anything but pre-qualify and get them over to a licensed LO. But these are trigger leads. They are not illegal to predictive dial them, to, to, to dial them like yourself as a LO. Legally, you guys have every right to make these calls out to these trigger leads. So the LOs are doing really well. Actually, they're expecting your call. If anything, mm -hmm. most of them are. Right, Ellie? Like, I mean, you should yeah. hear my people. My people are transferring <laughs> agents that already spoke to people from EMC, like from America TV's office or... You know, someone else's office, like they're already in, in uh, actually, Valerie, that was your call, right? Yeah. Yeah, hey, Valerie. All data is going to be loaded for you guys just to kind of address the questions coming in. Um, and then uh, you're going to be using the dialer instead of lead mailbox because the dialer is a 10 to 1 dialing capacity. No, no, no. It's more than that. It or can 12. go 20 to 1 and I can go, I can even increase it up to 40 to 1. Okay, so basically you're going to be fed humans all day long in, in, in milliseconds so to talk to. And then I um, just so you guys know, the catalyst for this conversation here is because uh, we have um, a loan officer who basically brought me into the business. And uh, he's, on, he's just on the data. He's not even taking live calls. And he's been getting a, a submission a day as a result of the dialer. He's getting so many deals on it. He's like, Joe, do you want this call? This guy's like only speaks Arabic. Can you nope. take it? So, so he's, he's generating so much business that he's sending me clients because he's going through this. So I know it works firsthand because, you know, we piloted it with the loan officer and I'll play you guys some of the calls, um, but you got to have the right scripting. You guys have much more capacity to, to, to leverage the leads in, um, in the dialer more so than the call center agents because you could quote rates. So what this loan officer is doing specifically is he's getting them on the call. He's like saying... Hi, this is Darren. I'm, I'm with eMortgage. We're the number one partner with the largest lender in America. I'm a specialist in the state of Colorado. Um, and I can get you a rate as low as three and a half percent for the first year. Like through the three, two, one buy down, right? So you can, you, UWM released a three, two, one buy down on refis and purchases. And he's opening that up the conversation with that three, two, one buy down option. So it immediately sparks the uh, the interest of the buyer or the person refinancing. So you want to start with that. Um, what do we do about the transfers we're getting from the call center too? You're going to be getting those concurrently. So if you don't have a prospect on the phone, guys, the idea here is this. You're going to have one call bring, ringing with the live transfers. The other one, you're going to have another phone on your ear doing your outbounds. So you're going to be working concurrently. You have live transfers coming in and you have Vici feeding you deals. If a live transfer comes in and you don't have a hot prospect or someone interested at that time, then just hang up and take the live transfer. No, no, no. Uh, Kevin, can you elaborate on your, what, what's your question exactly? Uh, yeah, so I was just thinking, cause we we're getting so um, cause we could get like, so my, our phones would blow up if we get the ring central on, on ring central, but in the Vici, our Vici dialer number is different, right? So it's like, um, I was just saying like- So it's, if they call back on Vici, uh huh. Right. Any one of my telemarketers can get that call. Okay. Got it. Okay. So, you know, it's, but it's, because okay. my because Ali verifies every phone call that the telemarketers transfer or or call out on like they every every mm -hmm. phone call is listened to. Okay. Literally, she she QCs every. I mean, I'm constantly getting like, hey Renee, listen to listen to this. Is this right? Like, I think that you know, yeah. So since every phone call is listened to, she you know nothing. There's a lot of phone calls, like Valerie's phone call earlier, that wasn't counted for my agent. Like, I didn't count that as a lead for her because that client was working with, you know, has been working for the past month with America TV's office. But, um, but if they call in, anyone's going to get the call. 
So you guys are going to receive incoming calls. You are. Like, I had it down to a point where I had Vichy, like, set up for ULOs with your own phone numbers, your own, but you guys never used it. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, then, you know, you guys were literally, you're literally just using this as a call out system, but you're using your Ring Central. You have to stress to the client, give them your Ring Central direct line number. Uh huh. And just stress to them, like, your, your info. Mm -hmm. And if they call back in, like, Ali will hear it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it'll get back to your queue, right? And RLOs are pretty good at, at you know, not pursuing it, anyone you're working with. Like whether okay. it's the, within your our branch or any other branch. You guys will like leave the lead alone. Just to, um, if you could answer the question that I asked, everything that you're feeding into this dialer on a daily basis, are these trigger leads for purchases and refis or both? They're both. They're both. both. So we won't know so until you're gonna we get, get the both. on the phone? Yeah, you're going to get both okay. and you're going to treat this like, because here's the thing. If I, if I, we, we get cash out deals where they're actually purchases. We think, we think we're buying cash outs, but believe it or not, these cash out leads are, are actually purchase leads as well. So like even what, whatever the bureau gives us isn't a hundred percent, you know, it can look like a cash out because they have a current mortgage, but they're actually trying to purchase a second home. You get know what I mean? But to the bureau, they already have a mortgage, so they think they want to cash out. Do you understand? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're just so going like, to interview not, the borrower. It's not like a, time. it's not a hundred percent type of system. It's just a trigger lead. Yeah. Okay, I, I got it. So basically, we just, we just, we're just uh, the only difference is that we just have a, a better opening than the telemarketers because we know what's going on and we can lead off with the, you know, we just treat every lead as a person technically and just we try to figure out quickly if it's a purchase or refi technically right yeah the only difference between you and the telemarketer is the telemarketer is just pre-qualifying them and getting the person live on the call for you but the dialer is essentially doing that as well so you have an edge up on the telemarketers anyway because the, the telemarketers they don't they don't have the pitch they can't pitch the way you guys can pitch Right. With our personal like, logins that you're going to create for all of us, is it going to be geared towards the states that we are actually licensed in or just all states EMC is approved at? Right now, it's, 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 it's geared towards all states until I think Sam wants to do a blanket five states for all of you, which are the five most common states that most of our RLOs are licensed in. And um, soon it's going like, to switch over to that. But right now, it's, it is all states. It's all the states that they've chosen for the trigger leads. Yes. Joe, you have something worked out with that? Joe. Okay, Joe must not be on the call. But also, like, you guys, like, you guys want to, these people are kind of expecting your call, you know? You're basically giving them a second opinion. Listen, let me fight for your business. You know, let me try and get you a better deal. Let me see what you have currently, you know, and we'll see, we'll see what works out. If not, we part as friends. That is your pitch. That is the best pitch you can give them. This is a trigger lead. You're already fighting another bank for this loan. Okay. Yeah. Everyone that you're calling is looking to do something. They have ran their credit. Right. Mm -hmm. And you will always see their FICO for their FICO score right there under ranking for every lead. Right here. When are we getting all these logins set up so we can start dialing? Well, I have I have generic logins now. Joe told me to just create generic ones like L01, L02, L3. Like I if I want to get as much like you know, I got very detailed before and it didn't, you know. It just clogged up my system and I'm not trying to do that again until you guys can like show us that you guys can actually work the system while the way Darren's working it. Right. Then I can, you know, get more customized for you on it, but I customized it before for you guys and you never used it. And that's probably because, you know, your management didn't encourage you to use it properly, you know, but There's once also you like it the way, this way, right. There once you yeah. can get the basics down, then I can get more customized for you. And I'll do it individually. I won't do it like 
as a group. Um, Those that you, that what do you mean? On, what do you mean the customization for for individual this LOs? This can do what does so much. Like it can be your whole. It can be your whole office. It can, you know, I can have a whole set of local caller IDs for you. I can have, you know, you guys can have like you guys can record your own voicemail daily on it. This system can get very like detailed for an LO. Like as in or, like every state that we have. I mean, we could have a different local number for every state. Is that what you're saying? Oh yeah, no, no, no. I have a set of di local numbers for every. So I don't just have one local number for every state. I have like 500 local numbers for every state. So you never call them with the same phone number ever. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Especially your user. So it'll, it'll never call with the same caller ID. And then just so you know, like I trash the caller IDs, like I don't trash them per se where they're showing up as call. I just trash them where they're like showing up as a caller ID. And then I'll purge them completely out after like two months after out of the system, but just so we can keep receiving incoming calls on them, I'll do that two months later. But I rotate out of the caller IDs every three weeks, two to three weeks, I would say. And I and I currently have a five thousand that I rotate through for all for all, every state that we have, or that we. And it's not all the states are like I believe it's only eighteen or nineteen states that oh, we I do won't. it for. Let's do it. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay, so Ali, log out. Yes. And do it over. I need you to show them like a couple more times and go slow, please. Okay. Okay, so this is obviously the main screen where I put our logins and just hit submit. You're always going to go ahead and select the campaign you guys are told to. Um, Call agents web phone. Remember, if you guys go click on go back, you guys are not going to hear the lady speak and the calls will be coming in as dead air. So make sure you guys click on call agents web phone. Okay, I wasn't able to hear the lady. I had so a just... quick question for you. Um, yep. As far as when you started again, well, yeah, perfect. All right, stop noting anything. Um, so are these numbers 102A, 102? Uh, is that what we want to pattern or kind of? No, no, this is just our logins. Um, it, don't, it should only be 102 right but since i just logged out and logged back in my information is already saved so it will most likely just get the user login and password which is this in the bottom right here the bottom so you guys are just gonna go ahead and say yeah just for example you're 106 you're okay. just gonna go ahead and, and put down 106 and your password and select the campaign that you guys are told to the trigger and yeah, yeah. okay and then submit once you guys okay. submit it's gonna go ahead and take you to this always click on call agents web phone you are currently the only person in this conference. And you guys always have to hear that lady speak just so the calls are not coming as dead air. And make sure once you guys are logged in, always to right away unpause yourself. Therefore, the calls will start coming in. So I'm just going to go ahead and click um, um, your pause, so active, and then click it again. And here's wherever you guys can go ahead and, and put yourself in pause, break, restroom, or lunch, whatever you guys want to use. So the calls will stop coming in. Okay, any questions? Please? Yeah, could yeah. you show us again what you did when you went from um, the pause? You did something yeah, else course. right now to go active or something like that. Yes, so let's say you guys um, you guys are logged in, so you guys are paused, right? You guys are going to go ahead and unpause yourself. The calls are going to start coming in. In case I need to go to the restroom or whatever, I need to pause myself. I'm going to oh, click gotcha. on it again. Just click on it again, and then it's going to open to three options, and you're going to select whatever option you guys are looking to, maybe break, lunch, or restroom. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. Is so it going to only be for 15 minutes and go back to active? Because I, I no. see it shows 15 minutes, five minutes. It will yeah, never, no. ever put you on active. Never. Okay. You always have to unpause yourself. Matter of fact, mm -hmm. if you don't dispo it, like I said, you don't dispo your call and it hits the dispo max after 30 seconds. And guess what? It's going to pause you out. <laughs> okay. Because when you guys stay like on dead air and whatnot, my drop percentage on the dialer shoots up. Legally, we can't have higher than a 3% drop ratio. Now we average with the telemarketers anywhere between two to you know 7% on any given day, but legally we can't, we can't be dropping calls like more than 3%. So this is why I put that limitation on, on, on the calls. You understand? Mm -hmm. 
So the system started, will pause you out more than you're, you're active if you if you don't, you know, properly use it. If I start making calls at 6 a.m., does the system know not to call West Coast? Hello? Absolutely. Okay. The cool. system will only call and it stops dialing East Coast. Actually, you can manually dial out. It won't stop you from manually dialing out at any time, actually. You know, and she'll show you how to do that. But, but you, it'll automatically stop in all East Coast numbers so is, at 8 p.m. It's time, it's, it's time zone sensitive then. Perfect. Yeah, so I basically set it from nine to eight instead of like legal telemarket telemarketing hours, which is eight to nine. I made my legal telemarketing hours nine a.m. to eight p.m. You understand? Kind of like opposite. People don't like getting called after eight anyway. Yeah. Trust me. Are we allowed to record a voicemail where we just hit a button and it just you don't have you don't have that capability because I I removed it completely. Um, that that's a customization and like I Renee, said, can like, we can we add that so that when they Joe, when they're listen I did all this before for your I mean who was here who's on this call let's see let's see who's on this call uh David Wang you were here Davis Nikart you were here um I think Davis Davis can you attest to how much like customizations I did for Vici for you guys yeah no you hooked it up for sure you hooked it and up did way. you guys even use it barely no, no, I, I know personally for sure. I, I know for sure I didn't personally use it that much now, but it was, you did set it up all dope. Yeah. 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 And it also seems like 50% like of the floor is new here too. So that'd be yes, interesting to yes. figure out. So yeah. David and I think David and Davis and like Travis and are probably the only guys. But the, I mean, Travis, could, but if they had the voicemail capability, it'd be leaving tons of voicemails so they get callbacks. We, yeah. But Joe, we need them to go back to basics first, like make the calls oh. first okay get the people on the calls live they'll get plenty of business just doing that trust me yeah okay yeah. how many trigger leads are you uploading um on a daily basis right now anywhere between uh 1500 to 5000 nice and, and i still haven't loaded i still haven't loaded like you know i i still haven't loaded the trigger leads from the 24th 25th and uh the 26th so i'll be loading those yeah, that's like ten thousand. When, when I give you guys a user, like you, like you guys will be working off like freshly. All, all of you will, both the, the telemarketers and you guys. You guys are calling the same leads the telemarketers are. The only difference is that you guys have way more of a leg up on the telemarketers. Okay, you guys are also you guys all have the 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 script right for the trigger leads. I yes? don't. I don't. All right, the so the old ones from Experian. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're talking about? It it applies to all trigger leads. Okay, then we, so then we look at like the opt out information. Okay. Like if you guys look at the script, it doesn't really say experience. It's not Where's experience the specific. Oh, there's, oh, that's a tab for the script. Okay, we're not in yet. No, you guys don't need, you, I don't put, I don't look, my people don't work off the script because I don't want them to sound scripted. Right. And I don't want None you guys you to sound scripted either. Works, the script yeah. is just for you guys to be aware of like the legalities Thank to it, know. right? Normal business hours. So all my people are on lunch right now, just, you know, like, but um, do you guys not have the script? And, and I used to have the experience. I don't have it anymore. We can send so the script. It's not yeah. a big deal, but Renee, if you want to play one of Darren's like the eight minute call, just to give them an idea of how, how, how he opens it so they can see the power of like the dialer. Allie, uh, go have, ahead and play, play one of And guys, one nobody, Darren's. Darren's the guy who brought me into the business in 2000. And you know, he's Ellie, he, does, he doesn't yeah. even want calls. Go ahead and play one of his recordings. Um, just a second, I'm gonna have to open the real. Just open up Skype, one of the ones he sent to me yeah. or to him. To the to him, Darren's actually asked for <laughs> his recordings because he didn't catch the email or something that was on it. Mm -hmm. but, but the system also records. No, it records everything. It records from the generation to when it's transferred. It'll record the whole call or every call. Give me a second.
so that's just a, a you guys are not supposed to follow the script verbatim it's to just make you aware of the legalities to trigger leads and how to deal with them on the phone you understand yeah definitely read it give it a read guys but the way uh, darren's opening up these triggers is like hitting very very amazing and he basically just introduces that he's a call, you know, a Colorado specialist or Texas specialist, whatever it is. Darren's also very used to internet leads. He's also very used to competing for business. All these guys are used to competing. So, so the, but the idea here is guys just open up with, you know, your, obviously your specialist and then, and hit them right out of the bat, right out of the gate with uh, the rates recently dropped because of the last inflation report, he mentioned that. And, uh, and then he hits them with the, uh, the, the three, two, one buy down, which is you could start your rate as low as th three and a half percent. So for the first year. So he starts with all those uh, like boom, 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 like jab, jab, uppercut type of deal. And then and then by the time, yeah. you know, he gives them a chance to say anything. They're like, yeah, I'm actually interested. So he doesn't like, you know, he just he just hits them with all the, all you know, all, all the oh and he he starts he just starts like yapping immediately like hey i'm a colorado specialist we're partnering with the number one lender in the country united wholesale mortgage and uh we can get your rate as low as three and a half percent for the first year i mean it's taking forever to 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 play i, I i'll just play it on my phone um since ali's had yeah, but I had, yeah i'm sorry i had everything closed down uh-huh yeah i had every, i had it closed down i'm sorry do you, do you have it up? I can I can I can play it. Colorado. Good. I'm very glad to hear that. Uh, the reason for my call is you know rates dropped, um, and I represent uh, one of America's largest mortgage companies, and we're also partnered with America, the America's biggest mortgage company that buys fifty percent of all U.S. mortgages, and uh, I see that. You're either trying to get some type of a mortgage and your know, rates have re recently dropped. In fact, if you're still trying to do a purchase, you could be qualified on your first year as low as three and a half and the second year as low as four and a half using these strategies that we have. Uh, were you still looking to purchase? I'm sorry? I'm actually, I used to live in Colorado Springs. I'm licensed oh, in Colorado yeah, I'm from hey, we can get a copy of this, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is so this is, this is so yeah. He hit me with like, and then he's got another one. That's an, uh, uh, my name is Darren. I'm a mortgage banking specialist that works with America's number one mortgage company. How's your evening feeding up? It's good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I have a mortgage inquiry that you're possibly maybe you recently closed or were shopping. Uh, our reason for our call is rates recently dropped with the latest inflation report. And um, uh -huh. I just want to see where you're at with that because if you're still having closed, or even if you did, your start rate could the first year be as low as three and a half, and the second year four and a half. And our credentials mm -hmm. are just crazy um you know uh five star i'm not talking about five or hundred like thousands uh google zillow anywhere you check we work with america's number one mortgage company united wholesale mortgage who recently took the title from rocket mortgage but that's who our mm -hmm. investor and servicer is uh because of that relationship we're able to give you rock bottom rates everything we're offering right now is in the fives without using buy down strategies May I ask exactly what you're looking to accomplish or what you have to see if there's a benefit for you? Okay, where I am in the process. Of so, so there you go. So, guys, so okay. she, she um, just goes off now. A number of lenders and, you know, the. So, all these calls that Joe has, they're all over like 10, was, 15, 20. And you play when you're. Yeah. So, these are, but just these are just raw calls. That, you know, I got like six of them. I'll, I'll share it with you guys right now. You guys can go through them. I just got it from Renee, the recordings. Um, so here's all the re recordings. And this is just straight TransUnion data. We just piloted this idea with him last week. We saw that the conversions are really well. So we want to get you guys all doing the same thing. Because we just got so much business right now 
and, and the call center can't even get to it. And clearly it's working for, uh, for, for other people who are, um, you know, leaders in the industry, they're doing the same thing. They're just on the dialer. They're, they're, they're generating business. Um, and they're closing a lot of business very, very quickly he's submitting a loan a day right now, um, to headquarters. So he's one of our top producers in the whole company right now, just on the dialer. So, uh, so I want, but you guys have an advantage because you guys are going to have the dialer and you're going to be having live calls coming in and you're going to have Bonzo firing. So you have three forms of lead generation concurrently. So if you guys aren't doing 10 plus loans a month, I mean, I just don't know what else to do. You know, I'm just going to shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, Joe. <laughs> like, I don't know what buddy. else to do. You know, like, I, we need you, buddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, just, just use a water gun, bro. We need you. Yeah, I'm going to shoot myself <laughs> with a water gun just out of depression. Here. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm kidding, guys. But really, um, this will give you guys like tons of tentacles. You know, the idea here is for you guys to be you know, an octopus. So um, this will give you guys that that additional um, flexibility. Now, guys, I want to make sure that you guys all understand how to use the dialer. Like, every okay. So, Ali, share your screen again. Okay, we're gonna go over this okay. once more. Okay. When you guys get, if you once you guys get this basic, basic part. I mean, when I say basic, like my telemarketers have to do probably three times the amount of work on this dialer than you guys have to. But if you guys can master this basic step, you could be generating loans like Darren. Because <laughs> that's all he's doing. Yeah. When will we have access to this? Today? Tomorrow? Today. Today. Like, now. I mean, I can... And guys, yeah, Renee's available. Time. Like, you could reach out to Renee. You could call her. You could email her, whatever. If we do another group call. You could, you know, re just reach out to her directly. She'll make sure you're set up today. But I want to make sure you guys have this concurrently with, and, and Kevin, yeah, to your point, you know, you're, you're going to be getting live transfers from, from Mexico mm -hmm. and, and you can quickly vet it. Like you could be like on the phone and talking that and like getting the quick scenario. Like, is this worth me to talk to? Like, is this, mm. a call? or is this guy just a fluff or like, Oh, I got, I got a, I got a house. I'm looking at buying a house in six months. Like, okay, great. Let me just add you to Bonzo. And okay, oh. great, gotta go. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then like keep on the phone, you know? Uh -huh. Like, so this will allow you to like, you know, filter quickly. So you don't like, damn it, I was on the diet. Like, so just prospect take, cause you know, the call center doesn't know when that person's gonna buy. Like if it's mm -hmm. someone looking to buy in six months, just like turn and burn, you know, quick off the call, put them in Bonzo, put them in a good nurture system and just keep hitting him over the next six months with calls, texts, emails, and just nurture him, right? Um, for the next six months until he finds a property. He doesn't need to take up a live, like your time in real time right now. He could just he could just work with your, your AI until he's ready to pull the trigger. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, my sauce. Okay. Carry on, Renee, because we got 15 minutes and I, we get, we started another meeting here. Okay. Can I, okay. So this would be the main campaign. I mean, the main page, obviously, like I did say, you guys will get your logins, select the campaign and all this. Uh, make sure you guys click on call agents web phone. You are currently the only person in this conference. Always, always make sure to hear the lady speak. If you guys do not hear the lady speak, log out and log back in. That's going to work. Like I didn't mention, you guys are always going to be paused. You guys have to unpause yourself so calls can start coming in. Um, I'm just going to go do a test. Once a call comes in, you're going to be able to see all the client's information. I'm just going to give it a few seconds for a call to come in and show you when it dispos. Renee, can I just go ahead and let it um, dead air? Okay, I'm not sure Renee's on here. <clears throat> just so I can show you guys how to dispo. Remember, you guys only have 30 seconds to disposition the call. If it overpasses, um, you guys can just lose that transfer or that lead. I'm sorry. Okay, so log out. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Sorry, I was yeah. I had to take a call. Log out completely. Okay, that Ali. was an answering machine. Okay. Okay. So when you guys, when you guys, you guys are gonna here, just so you guys um know, you guys are gonna go to go to EMC, it, uh, are all of you guys are in front of a computer, right? Yes? 
Yes. So I'm going to give you the yes. pH dialer. I'm actually going to give you guys the So all of them will have a, uh, are you going to give them numbers, Renee? Or are they going to have their own users or they're just going to have numbers? So I'm going to, I need you guys to go to this, this uh, link. If can one you of you guys can share your screen with us and we'll guide you through it right now. Okay. Put it in the chat, Renee, the link. I did. And Ali, stop sharing. If one of you guys can yeah, just yes. jump right in and share your screen. Yeah, I did. I stopped. I'll let like Sal share. Is that All right, I'll share. Where's the link? There we go. It's in the it's in the chat. I don't see it. I don't see it. No. Renee, where is it in the? I, I put it in the chat. Um, it's not, it's, uh, it's I not, think I sent no. it to Kevin Pham. My no, bad. it's not in the <laughs> chat, Renee. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Kevin's like, I'm the only one that got it. <laughs> no, you sent it to Ch Kevin directly, yeah. Yeah, I know. My bad. I'm sorry. Here. So it's easy. emc.phdialer.com. You're going to click on agent login. What's yeah, the website? Yeah. What's the site again? It's it's there. It's in the chat. It's emc.phdialer.com. Joe. I know. Yeah, it's on, yeah. It's on is, Skype. Is this it? Um, no. No. Okay, okay bro. I'll, I'll just take care. I'll take the screen. It's, you it's got it. All good. I think to be safe, we should just. Okay. So you guys see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Agent login. And then. Oh, wait. No, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Not okay. Your sorry. There we go. So go agent login, right, Renee? And then what? Okay, so go ahead, you, go ahead and use a 106, Joe. 106, okay. And dial 123. And then what? Dial 123. Capital D or just D? Just D. Okay. All right, so everyone will get their number today? Dial one, are, it's all going to be dial one, two, three. I'm not sure if it's dial just one, me, but I can dial one, two, three is not working. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Maybe, maybe. I got in. Oh, sorry. Sorry. There you go. Uh, who tried it? Valerie's tried it? Yeah, yeah I, I did it. Yeah, but then now, it now it's okay, so, it, Joe got in. Share your screen, Valerie. Yeah, yeah, uh, got it. Share your screen. I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> uh, just share. Okay, you know, everyone's like Zoom right inefficient, so. Just yeah, for yeah. The, <laughs> for the purpose of time right now, because I got like 10 minutes before, nine minutes. So I got to okay. start. I don't see a screen for you, Joe. I don't either. I can only yeah, see a green it's, one. It's a, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. Joe, I need to make sure that your people can do this, though. So. So I need one. Well, somebody it, it, it's easy. Screen. It's like click here to reset your session. <laughs> you guys see my screen? <laughs> if it's easy, you'd be in, yes. bro, like Valerie. All right. So this is, I think this is my screen, guys. It's hell. I think this is mine. Okay. So what? what's okay. log in and stuff? Go Let's ahead. Do. Just what do you 106. want to do? 106. And then, right. click, and then dial one, two, three. It's okay. lowercase D. And then click the campaign, then click the campaign on the bottom. There you go. And then submit. 
There you go. Uh, do you want to say this? Allow, allow it to, to, to allow it. But I think um, Valerie has to log out. <clears throat> Go ahead here. Give him a different user. It uh, kicks me out. When someone else should've... signs in, it kicks me out. So it does. Yeah, so click, does. click here to reset yeah. your session. Yeah, reset your yeah. session. Okay, go ahead. 107. Yeah. No, no, log in again. It's fine. Just, it's fine. 107 is fine. Submit. Just hit submit, Sal. So. Okay, go ahead. There you go. Now what, Renee? Did oh, you hear there's... the lady speak? Yes, I did. Oh, okay, good. Because we didn't hear it. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Okay. So you're in. I'm in. You're in. However, what do you do now? I'm gonna go here, boom. And I'm gonna wait for the call to come in. Oh. It's right there. Uh, oh, that call should be in. I don't know what to do. Did, did you get someone on the call? Uh, I think so, somebody came up. Okay. You see how it says call hung up right there? That's already dead air. It's only give you five seconds and the call is gone. And you have 30 seconds to disp disable that call. So I, I would say here? call back later, the one right there on the bottom, call back later, double click on it. Double click on, yeah, there you go. Pause yourself. Okay. So since it maxed, maxed out your time, if you go to view call log, that's a D, DIS mix. Because view you call log. Up, yeah, on the bottom, all the way in the bottom, right there. Do you, okay, call back later. Did You did have time to dispo it. Yeah, he did, yeah. he just wrote it fine. You had, per, that was okay. perfect. Perfect. You did, but the callback later is, is going to go to everybody because you didn't right, have my hit callback, that top. right? Right, okay. Right. And that's pretty much it. Like, that's, so So now, let's say you want to schedule the callback for yourself. What do you do? Schedule the callback for myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm lost. Okay. All right. So go back to your view call log and click on that lead. So let's say that you wanted to schedule this callback for you, right? Click mm -hmm. on it. Where? Right side, which is dial. Right on side, right. dial. Yes. Okay. Dial now. Bottom. Dial You're going to hit dial now real quick, and then you'll hang up real quick. Hang it up. And then you're going to hit callback later. No, callback. Oh, the shit. No, the callback. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, we'll leave that alone. Just, uh, we'll leave that alone for now. Um, okay. Well, damn it. <laughs> like, go ahead and... Um, he can go ahead and just click on it again and, and just save it real quick. Just so you know, like dial hang up right away before it rings. This one here? Click on call, yeah, call back with the little star on the top side. Dial now. Hang it up right away before it rings. Hang it up. Okay, call back with that with one. The the start. one yeah, there you go. Click on it. Make sure to always click my call back only. Therefore, you save it to yourself. And whatever, whatever time the client told you to do and the date and comment and then submit it. Okay, now just go ahead and submit. Select the date. There on the bottom, can you see it? Go ahead and pause yourself. Okay, now you can see it on the back, on the bottom. It's good. So, yeah, no. Close it. And you can see it on the red letters right there. That's your callback. That's the callback you just saved. Oh, got you. Okay. If okay, you click guys. on it, then you're going to be able to see it. Okay. Now, if you want to do a manual call, right, yourself for, through the dialer, right, but it's not mm -hmm. like a lead. You just want to manually call out through the dialer. Mm -hmm. Did Ali show you guys how to do that? No, 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 but who cares about manual dial? They have phones, they have Ring Central. So, okay. Well, let's, say, let's say they want to do a Joe for local local caller ID. Okay, you local presence. Somebody that they haven't been able to get a hold of. So, you want right. to use the dialer to basically leverage that, right? You want to, you're you guys, never, yeah, you have local presence on the dialer. Yeah, you're okay. never, it's never going to call back. Like, you'll, they'll never see the same caller ID from your agent. From your agent um, user, yeah. from your user. 
So that's like kind of like the leg up. So you can call them back and they'll, they'll, they won't know it's you <laughs> calling them. Uh. So let's say you have a client that you, you're not able to get a hold of like forever now. And you, you guys have like a loan submitted, you're waiting on docs, right? And you want, base, that'll give you a local presence leg up on, on anything, you know? It doesn't have to be a lead in the system for you to make a manual call. Oh, I see. You know? And where would we put Wait, the actually, phone number it, into? Does it have to be a lead in the system, Ali? No, it doesn't. No, because no. we have a lot of people that say, hey, you know, my wife, my wife is the one that takes care of it. Call my wife. So this is where we use manual dial. You so put in the I, wife's number, phone number, where it says phone number. Do not okay. ever take dial code. Do not ever take that one away or else the call won't go through. So where it says phone number on the top part right there. Yeah. yeah. That's where you guys are going to paste the number you guys are trying to call and then just dial now. Okay. And then this her dial override, nothing. To no, do with nothing. That. You don't do anything right. with that. Cool. cool yeah. Cool. Just phone number. Mm -hmm. And then whatever number you guys paste there, um, you can go ahead and put dial and the system's going to call it right out. Uh, oh, agent web phone. Yeah. So let's say you've been, someone's been on Bonzo, yeah. you have them, they're like halfway in process. You're waiting on shit and they're not calling you back at all. This is where you want to leverage that manual callback feature, right? So you can get that person on the phone. You guys understand? Yeah, only, hey guys, we're going to have to, we're, we're, we have to end this meeting. Unfortunately, the, okay. the other meeting starts now. So, um, you guys kind of get the gist of, of it though? Yeah. We, Okay, reach out to Renee if you guys have questions. Uh, I'm going to put her phone number in the chat right here. This is why I want to start slow with you guys. This is why, like, it could get really detailed, but oh. it could also, that detail can confuse you guys. Okay. I'm a, you I'm guys, like, slammed it. Like, once you get this, like, the basics down, then I can get, then I can, you know, individually. Okay. I got I got to start the next, yeah. Renee will help you. I put her number in the chat. Save it, guys. I got to end the meeting right now. Yep.